Question 18 to 19. You read a report that 60% of high school graduates participated in sports during their high school years. Question 18. You believe that the percentage of high school graduates who played sports is higher than what was reported. What type of statistical technique do you use to see whether you're right? Answer 18. A hypothesis test. You use a hypothesis test when someone reports or claims that a population parameter, such as the population mean, is equal to a certain value and you want to challenge that claim. Here, the claim is that the percentage of all high school graduates who participated in sports is equal to 60%. You think it's higher than that, so you're challenging that claim. Question 19. You believe that the percentage of high school graduates who played sports in high school is higher than what's in the report. If you do a hypothesis test to challenge the report, which of these p-values would you be happiest to get? A. P equals 0 0.95. B. P equals 0 0.50. C. P equals 1. P equals 0 0.05. A. P equals 0 0.001. Answer 19 choices E. P equals 0 0.001. R. P value measures how strong your evidence is against the other person's reported value. A small p value means your evidence is strong against them. A large p value says your evidence is weak against them. In this case, the smallest p-value is 0.001, which in any statistician's book is deemed highly significant, meaning your data and test results show strong evidence against the report. Question 20. Which data set has the highest standard deviation, without doing calculations? A. 1, 2, 3, 4, B. 1, 1, 1, 4, C. 1, 1, 4, 4, D. 4, 4, 4, 4, A, 1, 2, 2, 4. Answer 20 choices C. Which is 1, 1, 4, 4. The standard deviation measures how much variability, diversity, is in the data set, compared to the mean. If all the data values are the same, the standard deviation is 0. To increase the standard deviation, move the values farther and farther away from the mean. The choice that moves them the farthest from the mean here is 1, 1, 4, 4.